Welcome to the second hour of this morning. Here are today's headlines. Prime Minister Cheung Se-gyun said authorities would discuss ways to provide consumption discounts to Koreans to help relieve stress caused by the COVID-19 pandemic at the Central Disaster and Safety Countermeasure Headquarters meeting yesterday. He also said he understands people are suffering great psychological stress due to the pandemic and careful review of offering discounts for accommodations, tours and restaurants will come depending on the containment situation. The Justice Ministry said they found former CEO of Star Mobility Kim Bong-hyun's testimony to the prosecution included alleged bribing of prosecutors, investigators, and a district attorney turned opposition party politician. But the prosecution has not adequately investigated these allegations. The ministry also said they are reviewing how to conduct additional probes and who will lead it in consideration of the outcome of the ongoing inspection and corruption allegations. Justice Minister Trumier said attorney generals cannot be free from the accusation that he did not order thorough investigations of prosecutors and opposition party politicians, treating them differently from ruling party politicians. The Blue House announced yesterday that the U.S. National Security Advisor Robert O'Brien will visit Seoul next month, most likely after the U.S. presidential elections. This comes after Seo Hoon, South Korea's top security advisor, met with his U.S. counterpart during a four-day stay in Washington last week. The two allies conducted talks on the defense cost-sharing deal, and O'Brien expressed his hopes that denuclearization talks with North Korea will resume next year and possibly take place before or during the Tokyo Olympics. The two sides also agreed to cooperate in development efforts for a COVID-19 vaccine. Finally, despite the Thai government's ban on gatherings of five or more people to clamp down on voices of dissent, protests against the prime minister and Thai royals are escalating. Protesters are calling for a reduction of royal power and budget and resignations of the prime minister endorsed by the king. Thais are growing frustrated with the royal spending even during the COVID-19 pandemic, which has hit the public hard. King Maha Vajiralongpon has assumed authority to manage the Crown Property Bureau assets of an estimated $40 billion in 2018, and protesters say the royal spending is excessive. And you can listen to these headlines once again on our YouTube channel by searching TBS EFM. Once there, you'll get a script of the headlines and subtitles as well. Coming up next, the implications of the deferred order to remove the Statue of Peace in Berlin, as well as an assessment on the current biodiversity conservation efforts going on.